Welcome to another video. This time I'm going to be doing crystal hunt with the default weapons as if I was a level one brand new to the game just out of the tutorial dungeon and then we're going to do yeah hop right into the crystal hunt. So I'm going to show you my loadout real quick. Uh, it is that default loadout. I'm actually going to change it to the sword on the right side which as you could see that was the uh, default sword with six damage, the common sword, the one you start with, and then we've got the default axe on the other side with six damage. Then we've got the bow, default bow with four damage. Uh, I mean, common bow, I guess all of them are called common, not default, but same thing. Um, and then, yeah, I've also got these exo points that basically do nothing. This gives me more gold, so it doesn't actually help uh, with the fights. This one, throw distance, I don't think that actually does anything. When I've tested it, it just seems like it's absolutely useless. So I'm going to assume that's useless. And the fall damage decreased by 80%. I'm not going to be jumping off of high heights for the most part. Uh, that's my guess, at least. And then resilience increased last stand time by 50%. Um, hopefully that's not even going to happen because I'm not going to go to last stand and I'll be totally fine. So basically, this is nothing. And I, I couldn't deselect the... Uh, perks so that's why I had to choose a perk and yeah as you can see default weapons default bow and I'm gonna get to it so here we go and uh, I have my hatchet in my left hand so that and this is my non-dominant hand so I have my non-dominant hand and then the bow is in my right uh, specifically for this dungeon but or for the crystal hunt mission so Lava Forge, here I'm going to do the hardest realm, even though they're technically not harder or easier realm-wise. It's just your preference of look and the kind of enemies you come across. Lava Forge has more explosion stuff, so I'm going to do that. And obviously Crystal Hunt over here, the blue thing. I am not going to do recommended difficulty because I don't have uh, weapons and exo perks that are going to be able to handle the tier six difficulty. So I'm gonna go down to easiest, which is what you will start with, and go ahead and start this. And again, uh, I've mentioned it before, but it is important to know that the difficulty, the tier of difficulty that you do does not affect the loot that you get and the XP that you get. Uh, I think you might get a little bit more gold or something at the end because of the difficulty, but I doubt it's much to, uh, I guess, change from tier one to tier two if you're not ready for it. So only, only increase the tier difficulty if you think you're ready for it. Here's the pyramid. There's the podiums, picking them up, and I'm gonna go find some crystals in the rooms. But yeah, I had ooh, okay. So this dude, I've got imp. Uh oh, two, three ranged people. My gosh. So this is a little difficult. Okay. We're, we should be good, though. Yeah. Oh, and luckily I, I reflected, deflected his, his axe just by holding my bow, which happens. Very strange. Okay. And I can't dodge arrows as easily when I don't have haste, which is the speedy perk. But yeah, as you can see, I'm not not running as fast as I usually do because I don't have that haste. I got to go get this lever over here. Kitchen. Okay. Grab me some gold. Did I see a key? No, I didn't. Okay. 84 health. So that wasn't bad. Not too shabby. Um, there's a couple other leathers, levers in here, I believe. Yeah, there's one over here. Nope. I lied. Okay. Interesting. I thought there was usually... Oh. Oh. We do this lever that opens this door and then oh <laughs> that's right it it spawns some guys and they block my block my shot okay now i can press this lever and yay i got a potion potions are going to be very important because i did not craft any and if you are a low level you're not going to have enough gold to craft potions uh, all you're going to be able to do is craft the big potions and the small potions. A rare truncheon, nice. Um, but, cool, we should be good. And yeah, as a low level, you're going to want to break these vases and boxes when you get the chance to try to find um, different loot 
basically just health potions for the most part. And good stuff, we're finding health potions. There's a vase over there, I could break that, but I'm good. Oh. Kill that guy. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's still not too difficult. Oh, we just got the biggest room, I think, in the game. <laughs> It's, it's a pretty cool room. Okay, and I let that guy just come get me. Let's do some melee. Those guys are easier to take out melee. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. And I gotta go all the way up here. And what do we have? 75 health. I should be good for a little bit. And don't get hit by these. These trap or trick rooms, puzzle rooms, I guess are a little bit more difficult when you don't have that haste. You can't just zoom through everything. But there you can see the rope is falling down. It's not a rope, it's a chain, but you know, same thing. Um, what do I have? I don't even have a key, so I can't even, even if I wanted to, I can't get something over there. So I'm gonna go this way, see if there's something. Okay, great, a crystal. This is, this is what, we're, what we're here for. And another chest, hopefully. I can find some stuff. Um, oh, wow. Thought I had something to throw, but I did not. Taking them out with my sword. Yeah, so even though default weapons, they're not bad. They're not bad. Especially in tier 1 difficulty. Yeah, I, I can't open that. That's okay. But, woohoo. And I do have my auto sprint enabled, so I am running as fast as I can, as fast as my little default legs can take me. But it definitely feels slow compared to what I had before. And this is like this is like the pace of a jog in real life, I would say. So I'm glad that haste exists because it's more like a sprint and I like being able to sprint in all the games that I play. Um, okay, another room. These are <laughs> these are very underwhelming rooms. Sometimes they spawn these side crystal rooms. Sometimes they'll spawn enemies. Sometimes not. Also, because I don't have vitality and I'm not automatically healing, it's good to take these potions inside. And you can just chuck them over here. Uh oh. Okay. It almost went down in the drain over here, but we don't want that. We can just leave it out here in case we get injured but I'm gonna pop these crystals into the sockets. Oh no, give me that crystal, come here. Okay, fantastic. And then we go ahead and start it here and I'm gonna keep accidentally picking that up. Okay, uh, I did explain in my other video, uh, the tutorial or crystal hunt walkthrough, how to do this. So I'm not gonna go too in depth. Essentially, you just kill these mages that are trying to stop you from draining the crystals. Oh, get this guy. And once you hit them once, they will stop draining the stuff. Um, so then you hit them again to finish them off. Um, okay, so once they turn red, click on the pad, throw an ax at them, or hit them with a bow. It's easier to hit them with axes because it has a little bit of auto aim, but, um, ooh, I just, I stopped the, the ax from throwing. Oh, okay, I gotta go get this and you can also distract them oh shot me still 75 health interesting not sure why I have so much health or maybe that just didn't hurt me somehow okay and I I could do this whole thing just with the bow so I feel pretty confident in my bow abilities however I would not say I recommend that I also I gotta distract this guy real quick come on oh no he can't be distracted okay we're good um, one crystal so far has been drained which again, that's a good thing, even though it sounds like a bad thing. Okay, we got that guy, because they're, they're trying to stop us from draining the crystals, but if we can continue to drain them, we are good. I gotta click on this, throw my axe, shoot him. Oh, yeah, mages are hard to hit. And again, these, these skeleton guys I can totally ignore if I want to, but you know, I, I like getting extra kills here and there. Oh no, he's so far away, this is not good. Okay, we got him. And just kill these guys. Um, okay, mage. Interesting. Oh, I think he's invincible. I think he is. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, good. Well, he might have been. Um, 
what do we have next? Where are you, mage? Oh, cool, we finished. Fantastic, everybody dies. Success, that was good stuff. I didn't even have to use a single potion. So as you can see, definitely possible to do these crystal hunt missions, even as a level one, uh, even though I, I did have a couple perks, those perks did not do anything for me. The throwing perk, if anything, might have done a little bit for my axe, but my axe didn't really do much. Uh, I was mainly just shooting the bow. So a lot of times people will struggle uh, when they're level one. And I'd say that's mainly mainly due to the fact that you just don't have much practice in the game. And maybe you're pretty new to VR or whatever, but um, it can be hard. I, I admit it can be pretty hard to start this game. And it's probably harder to start than it is in the end game because you don't have as much abilities, you don't have as much practice, and you don't have vitality. So you're, I mean, the ability, the exo perk doesn't heal you, you can't run fast, all that stuff you don't have. And so yeah, you just have these default weapons that you have to work with and make sure to not get yourself killed. Try to get potions, revive yourself, use the potions to the best of your ability and use some teamwork if you got a teammate. But yeah, aside from that, that was a little crystal hunt walkthrough with the default weapons as if you were a low level. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed and peace out.